Let's take you live over Seattle. Fog was basically the story for much of the morning, and it looks like it's not over yet. Let's get to <laughs> Ashley. What's happening? Joyce, it's not over just yet, but we will have improving conditions heading into our Thursday. Now that's in terms of the fog. We are going to have some changes, increasing cloud cover and rain chances going forward, but it's more so Friday, late Friday and into the weekend. But until then, cold temperatures, patchy fog, and we'll have at least some spots dropping at or below freezing. I'll show you where in just a minute, but our next system is setting up off to our west and it is going to send a very weak cold front to our area or a weak front if you will and that's going to likely dissipate over western Washington so it's not going to bring any significant impacts. The system that moves in Friday and into the weekend a little stronger it's not going to be a cold system by any means so our snow levels are going to go up our actual temperatures are going to go up as well but we will have some decent rain chances over the weekend and we could have some mountain snow but but it's more so into early next week when we'll have a better shot for some lower elevation snow. So looking at Stevens and Snoqualmie Pass and looking at Everett right now, you can't see much. We have some locally dense fog right now over Everett, but more so over the South Sound portions of the foothills and then over the uh, Kitsap Peninsula and Hood Canal as we speak. Temperatures at SeaTac already at freezing, trapped under the low clouds today, and then the fog just really limited our daytime warming. But as you see, some spots are already in that mid to upper 30 range, and we are expecting at least some spots to drop into the lower and mid 30s, so we will have to watch out for some freezing fog. Once again, maybe a little bit of black ice overnight. But then tomorrow, we'll thaw things out mid and upper 40s. 40s and we'll have increased cloud cover and then a couple of showers more so over the west. Here's a look at the future cast. You see this green offshore. That's that decaying front. It will send a couple of showers closer to Puget Sound, really going to be on the light side, and we are going to have a pretty decent amount of cloud cover. Stopping the clock again Friday morning, a little bit of cloud cover, maybe some patchy fog once again, but it's late Friday and throughout the night on Friday into Saturday when we could have some locally heavy rain. In fact, through Saturday morning, some spots could pick up half of an inch, maybe up to an inch and a half of rain. Up in the mountains, however, you see little to no snow. It's because our snow levels are really going to be on the high side, at least until we get to late Saturday and into Sunday. But looking ahead through Monday morning, that's when we have a better shot. So from about late Saturday into Monday morning, we have a better shot to at least get a couple of inches up in the mountains. But after that, that high temperatures will be back down in the 40s.